Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series called Review Doodles here at 610 Hobbies. My name is Geo you know it and today I will review a movie I just watched a few moments ago called Godzilla King of the monsters oh shit <laughs> oh yeah I, I will also cast a lot <laughs> typo here not really nice start there we go oh yeah it's not chunksters it's, it's chunksters here <laughs> yeah you can see that Godzilla is fucking packing a lot of Shunk monsters, yeah. <laughs> oh god, that is an embarrassing start. Anyway, this will be a little, I hope, short, but probably not. It's gonna be like a half hour at most. And I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. Uh, and uh, you will see me doodle here. And again, I will be cussing here, not too much because then it loses its charm. But yeah, since I'm gonna be t t talking about a lot of uh, maybe sensitive stuff, <laughs> and it will also contain, you know, it spoilers. So if you haven't watched Godzilla King of the Monsters movie and you are interested in watching it, I really recommend you stop watching this video, please. Stop now. You have been warned. But anyway, let's start this up here in my Photoshop. This is really, really uh, improvised, so please bear that in mind. <laughs> my art is crap already, so this will be a lot even crappier than usual because it will be all sketchy and stuff. Anyway, let's talk about this goddamn movie. <laughs> uh, I actually kind of liked it. Uh, I, I didn't watch the first uh, movie of the legendary uh, universe. <laughs> well, from legendary films, I don't know how it's called. Monsterverse? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch the first one because I, re I remember Cinema Scene saying that Godzilla was only like 11 minutes on it. So, yeah, I really wasn't interested in watching something with so little sign. I wasn't interested in watching a science fiction movie with very little science fiction. <laughs> so, yeah, I decided to give a pass to that. But today, I was considering watching King of the Monsters. I really am not a big fan of Godzilla, to be honest. I don't know shit about Godzilla. So, but my friend uh, invited me to go to the movies today. And it was either watching Men in Black International. And I have heard a lot of, of shit about it. And I'm really not... I was initially interested in watching this but after reading the reviews and the opinion of my uh, my friend Alejo he told me that it was bad so I took his word and I'm not gonna watch that no matter how much I love Chris Hemsworth no homo <laughs> and I also had the option of Toy Story 4 and I may be a man child but I don't know I didn't feel like spending money on on the movies on watching a kid's film. I don't know. I mean, I probably watch it in, in video in my in my house, but not in the movies. I'm not in the movie theater. I'm not interested at all. So, yeah, I told them, why don't we watch Godzilla? And, oh, yeah. I, I, and that's my Bally, Bally Boy accent. <laughs> why don't we watch Godzilla? We should totally watch Godzilla, he said. Yeah, we should totally... Yeah. Nah, just kidding, but yeah, he's, he agreed, and yeah, we went to watch Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and well, whoa, it's so, already five minutes in, and I haven't even started talking about the movie. Anyway, again, I kind of like this movie. I like the monster fights. That's really freaking awesome. That's so really cool, but what I really hated was the story 
of the family, <laughs> the American family. But anyway, let's go uh, step by step. The movie opens. In <laughs> no way, this is awesome. This is awesome. The movie opens somewhere. Okay, now first we have a flashback to the first movie. But, well, the movie opens up in a pyramid. And when you see a pyramid like this, a step pyramid, I don't know how you call it in English. It's a pyramid, actually. <laughs> it's supposed to be a pyramid. And in a jungle, what do you think? Where, where, this is, is this like South America or something, right? No! Uh, let me finish right. This is not South America. It's China! <laughs> China what this is a freaking jungle like I don't know uh, anyway that was really our first dumb point in the movie and the below this pyramid uh, construction or anything is sleeping Matra the queen of the insect Disney princesses in a cocoon you know it she's uh, she's I don't know what she's doing. She's hibernating or she's gonna be born again. I don't know. Anyway, she wakes up and she gets really pissed. And I don't think she kills her, 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 anyone because she's a good monster at the end of the film. But, oh yeah, she doesn't have wings. She's still in a larva state. Larval state? I don't know. She doesn't even have antennas or anything. She, she, she just manhandles a lot of soldiers that are guarding her, pushing pushes them to the wall or webs them like Spider-Man. And and yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure because she's a good girl, she didn't kill anyone. I'm pretty sure. I can bet you on it. And uh, oh yeah, no, I think did she eat someone? I no 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 she tossed she she grabbed someone with her mouth and then tossed him uh, to the wall and Stuck him with with her silk or webbing. I don't know what the hell that is. But anyway, uh, some bitch, <laughs> uh, short-haired woman. Uh, she comes with a box, magical box called the Orca, and comes down the beast because the music box. You know, we have never seen that music box. It's boxes calming giant monsters. Uh, yeah. She comes Matra, she comes all happy, yay, I, I, I'm gonna go to being a good girl again. But suddenly, the, the base is attacked by evil soldiers. They only needed some nasty swastikas to, to really get that evil. Oh no, they're evil. They, they can't be smiling. They're evil. Evil soldiers come and kill everyone except the... The woman here called, I think she's, her name is Emma, the woman with the music box, and her daughter, Madison. Yeah, oh wow, my memory is working. Um, they spared those those two persons, per people, uh, because uh, Emma knows how, how to use the, the orca, the freaking music box. Eh? Well, it's, it's actually like, Obviously, you've seen the movie <laughs> if you're watching this. I'm not calling it, calling it a literal music box. It's like, but it, it's a music box. Like, it's high tech. It may be a machine, but it it is a freaking music box to calm creatures or call them whatever. Anyway, somewhere else in the world, uh, what's happening? I don't remember what happens next. Um, I don't. Remember. <laughs> I really don't. Well. Forgot already so soon. I just watched this a couple hours ago. Um, I don't know if the the girls, the Madisons, and fa father we saw him. I don't know this guy's name. <laughs> I really don't remember him. Uh, they come a couple guys and oh no! Whoa, 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 wait! Yeah, I remember. I remember the corporation that 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 was. Uh, Protecting Matra or watching her grow, I don't know, whatever. Um, it's in a, uh, a government assembly somewhere, and, and the heads are being interrogated by a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of politicians, I guess, I don't know. 
and um, yeah they just leave because they learn about the attack to their base they just leave like they don't give a shit and the the head uh the woman at the head of the parliament or whatever uh just calls them off and says hey you can't leave ah we don't care we're americans we don't care well one of them is chinese i'm not sure about the woman it's well the chinese guy i know he's he was in the first movie it was that that guy that was always staring at the same place for like a couple seconds or even minutes and it was a woman with a long ponytail and yeah they just leave they say hey, goodbye see ya they just leave the their their trial i guess it was like a trial uh, because of they they're trying to protect godzilla and other titans because they're this is like a pokemon world they're just finding out there's pokemon in the world and they're called titans but anyway uh what happens next? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they go now and recruit the girl's father. Father, we're gonna call him father now because that's basically his role. He's the father superhero. Well, watch, watch that he, uh, you know, strong and possibly he's been in a war or something. I don't know. He's really tough, um, but he's also like a researcher or something like. Anyway. Uh, they come and recruit him in a huge helicopter that, that scares his wolves. <laughs> the wolves he was taking photographs of. And we're 10 minutes in. Uh, what else happened? Well, they brief him. They tell him this happened. They steal the orca and his ex-wife and, and daughter. And yeah, he's really pissed. The father is really pissed at Godzilla. Because in the first movie, Godzilla killed he, his his other son. I don't know his name. Forgot. What, like Ashton or something? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, he's angry at Godzilla because he probably stepped on his child by accident. Then that's just really stupid. I mean, yeah, you, you have the right, obviously, to feel sad when you, someone... When someone you love dies. But being angry as at Godzilla. Like he didn't even probably notice he killed anyone. Like it's like being angry at an earthquake. If an earthquake kills your dog or something. Well I'm not comparing his child with a dog. But I didn't want to say like. Uh, uh, an earthquake killing your child. Okay yeah let's say it. It's like being angry at an earthquake that kills your child. And you have no control over that. Like no one has. Not even nature. And Godzilla is pretty much like a natural disaster. So yeah, I mean, he, again, he has the right to grieve, uh, but not to stay angry at, at a freaking monster. Anyway, giant monster that couldn't even exist. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, well, we learned he's angry at Godzilla. He, they come to him because they want his help to find the orca that was just stolen and the orca was made by his wife the magic music box that calls monsters and calms them down and all that shit and and godzilla comes to the base to the base and just looks around and eh, yeah they he doesn't do anything to them he just there's like they hey what you doing why, why aren't you doing something and no yeah they don't do anything this is the base it's supposed to be the base it has it had cannons that they were trying to point at Godzilla, but the father told them, "Don't do it. Let's do let, let it. It only makes us look menacing to him. Let's surrender." And yeah, Godzilla is pretty much chill. Like, okay, you you guys are cool, and he leaves to to go and find um who who's the first one? Well, yeah, uh, the evil soldiers. This is the next thing that happened. Go to the Antarctica to find the best monster of all. The Nazi soldiers, not Nazi. <laughs> uh, I go to the Antarctica. And the Antarctica is in the south of the uh, the the South Pole, I think. <laughs> this is the Earth. And they go to the Antarctica. Evil soldiers, angry, and they. This is the Earth, <laughs> and. They go to Antarctica to find the most powerful monster that is, um, 
I, I think you guess now who, who this is. Do you know who this is? Yeah, that's right. The most powerful monster in the world is Adam. You know, the, the first angel, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's, that's the wrong director <laughs> in this movie. No, the most powerful monster is you guessed is King Ghidorah. King Hydra, as I like to call him, is a multi-headed monster. And he's woken up, and you know, the good soldiers from, from oh yeah, the company is called Mo uh, Monarch, the good soldiers. But anyway, King Ghidorah is awakening, and he's like, I think Ghidorah is like the first social justice warrior. <laughs> I mean, no offense, well, yeah, no, it will probably offend you either way. <laughs> <laughs> but really, Ghidorah wakes up and he starts attacking his own heads. <laughs> and like, and he also really, really hates when they turn on the the music box here, the orca. He really gets pissed. So I guess the orca is just saying his trigger words, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, they wake up Ghidorah and Godzilla comes to fight Ghidorah, and they fight a bit. One of the one of the girls uh, is just supposed to be with Silva. Uh, he needs his uh, his spine. There we go. It's a good Gojira. He fights this. Okay, now you know what? No, we don't need this anymore. We delete it, and now we move. Yeah, but Silla comes to fight uh, the first social justice warrior. <laughs> And uh, it's really like a stegosaurus, right? He has the spines of a stegosaurus. Anyway, and they fight and no one wins. It's like a tie. Uh, I think Ghidorah tosses Godzilla into the air or something. I don't know. Uh, one of the good people, soldiers dies. The girl with the ponytail. I didn't even notice. I think she got stomped by Ghidorah. My friend was the, the one that told me, oh, she's dead. I'm like, who? The, the the daughter the the the, the Madison and no she is the uh, the other woman and like which one the, the mother no the one with the ponytail oh yeah that I don't know I didn't even know her name but she was supposed to be important I guess but anyway um <laughs> uh, King Ghidorah and and, and Godzilla and uh, go away part of ways. Ghidorah makes like a huge storm, a <laughs> shit storm, <laughs> like a good social justice warrior that moves across the earth, it's like a, like it's actually a hurricane, uh, moving to, I'm, I guess to meet other titans, and they go to my favorite place in the world because it's my home, Mexico, to a an active volcano oh wait no this volcano is not active and it's not spewing lava just yet because it's it's clogged it's it has a lid on it it's a little metal lid you see it <laughs> because that oh this looks this looks really suggest suggestive <laughs> is that a volcano okay anyway in this volcano resides another titan there we go. This this looks like a volcano. Called ah, this is actually my favorite Titan of the movie. Called uh Rodan. I'm not sure if it's with an H. Rodan, Rodan or Ro Rodine. <laughs> uh, like a pterodactyl guy comes out from here, some Mexican city, and comes out and starts destroying a population here. So I'm actually thinking the, the only volcano we know like that in Mexico, in Mexico, uh, is the Popocatépetl. Let's see if I can write Popocatépetl. Is this an accent here? No. Okay. Fuck. Anyway, so I guess that's the volcano. Um... Rodan comes out and then the wood soldiers try to lure him to Ghidorah who's coming, who's coming from him and they bring uh, Ro Rodan to fight Ghidorah. I really love Rodan because he's such a fucking pussy <laughs> and, and he's well he's a coward I'm not saying that in a 
the uh, um, a mis misogynistic way. <laughs> He's just such a coward. He should be like the like like dinosaur. He should be called dinosaur Starscream. He's such a fucking coward. <laughs> dinosaur Starscream. And well, he bumps into Jizora and like Jizora just fucking push him push him off and Rodan Rodan falls to the sea. And we don't hear about him in a bit. I thought he was dead. I was oh poor Rodan. I feel bad for him for that that beta guy. <laughs> yeah, I actually, yeah, I actually feel really identified with Rodan. <laughs> I, that would be me actually. <laughs> he falls into the sea, and then Godzilla comes out. Oh, this is not Godzilla. It looks more like either. He needs his spine, <laughs> and fights. Oh, let's take this out. And fight um I think we need a thicker brush. There we go. And oh wait, no, let's do it. <laughs> oh yeah, which is oh okay, okay, wait, that means nine. There we go. And fight Jidora again. And Godzilla takes off a head from Jidora. He wipes it off. <laughs> eh. But then the evil government of the United States sends a bomb of uh, that consumes oxygen, I guess, and kills every living thing. And they shoot him at Godzilla and and Ghidorah, and it explodes, obviously. But the only one affected is Godzilla, because Ghidorah is like the Wolverine of the Titans. He regenerates his other his other head. Let's do it. Yay, it's back again. I don't know if you can make out my my weird scribblings. <laughs> but yeah. And Godzilla is the only one affected by the bomb. He they everyone thinks he's dead in the sea. Cold oh, he's supposed to be Godzilla. I'm dead. <laughs> and but he isn't. Uh, anyway, Yudora goes to to Rodan's volcano and he just poses there for a long freaking time and rah, I'm like I'm, I'm the big Vic here uh, yeah yeah about before me and yeah definitely Rodan goes and Rodan, <laughs> Rodan goes and yeah bows literally bows to him like yes my master yes it's fucking star screen <laughs> anyway uh, uh, the good guy oh, uh, there's there's a subplot in the whole movie of the family here, the father, the guy that I don't remember his name. And you know, the mom turns out to be working for the evil Nazi soldiers, not Nazi soldiers. She's supposed to be working for them. She betrayed Monarch, the the good corporation that supports Godzilla. And her their kid, their daughter, Madison, Maddie, she doesn't know shit. And well, yeah, there's that subplot. The, the the mother starts doubting if she's making the right decisions because they're trying to bring Titans back because Titans uh, are good for the Earth. And you know, and humans, you know, because we we pollute and we do all kinds of shit and, and nuclear bombs and all shit, we're bad. How original, right? We're bad because we're destroying our planet. We're the, we're shit. We're not the shit. We're shit, killing our planet. It's supposed to be our planet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really, really original plot. But anyway, uh, they find out that Jidora is not a is not a titan from Earth. So that's why he's fucking up Earth like everywhere. Other titans start to arise. Uh, and, in, in the earth, one that looks like a mammoth, except that he has an, a, a snout or anything. He looks actually more primate, and it, it's not King Kong. We see a few cameos of King Kong. He looks really cool for King Kong now. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we see a few cameos from King Kong. We see a cricket thing that looks like more like the Cloverfield monster. You know who the fuck is that? And also Matra. Yeah, I forgot to say Matra went into a cocoon state again, but then pops out and 
like like a fucking angel everyone starts worshiping her like oh she's so beautiful blah 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 she's a fucking giant moth like really i hate moths already but anyway uh turns out godzilla is not dead he's in a coma he's, he's in a super coma like superman <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to his underwater temple <laughs> I'm not making this up to heal and the humans go <laughs> in a submarine and they <laughs> they <laughs> they deduce okay, let's draw Godzilla here dying or well, kind of dying in a coma <laughs> the humans deduce that the only way that Godzilla well he's gonna be eventually back to life but they they find out it's gonna take a long time so the only way to actually accelerate things speed, speed them up rather uh is using the answer to every problem in in american movie which is nuclear nuclear bombs or should i say nu nuclear like most americans say well anyway they say to heal Godzilla by nuking him <laughs> I am not kidding that's their idea like yeah Godzilla let's blow a fucking bomb in the face of the only freaking being that can save us <laughs> because what could possibly go wrong like seriously <laughs> next time you, you say the the terror the bomb terrorists you, you're gonna say that they they're not they're not actually terrorists, they're healers. Are you gonna say that movie? They're not, they're not terrorists, they're, they're healers. They're trying to, he to heal humans with bombs. It's, it's fucking... I told you this was gonna be offensive and I don't mean offense to victims of terrorists, but this is the logic of this movie. Let's just blow shit up and that will heal and, and, and everything. Anyway, turns out that the area the area around godzilla where godzilla is in his super coma is radioactive and not even drones can go in there because they they oh that's that's actual science that kicks in the the drones actually malfunction and and die <laughs> the drones flying drones i should say flying and swimming drones actually they they're they're, they're amphibian <laughs> Uh, that's not actually the technical but anyway so the chinese guy the the guy with the stairs uh, in the glasses that, that stares into the into the to the endless void says i will go and even if, if if it kills me i will go and yeah sure enough he goes in a suicide mission to resurrect godzilla and I'm really happy that this guy dies. I mean, I don't hate the the actor. I don't even know him, but he was the only one calling Godzilla by his original name, Gojira. I think this is how you spell it. And let, that kind of ticked me off. I mean, I know that's his original name in, and that's his name in Japan, but come on, everyone else is calling him Godzilla. Like really. <laughs> anyway, he goes and sets the bomb into Godzilla's face. And I was just thinking, wouldn't it have been a lot more, <laughs> more awesome if, if they had told him, "Yeah, no, that bomb is not is not too to explode it. It's you 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 you're meant to insert it in Godzilla's bum." <laughs> Can you imagine that I'm drawing a bomb here? This is this is, no, that's not a bomb. That no, that wasn't a good thing. I draw really bad. Well, can you imagine that using that bomb as a suppository? <laughs> For Godzilla, oh my god. That's a real suicide mission. And yeah, once in Godzilla's <laughs> body, I guess the bomb would melt and the the active radioactive material would would nurture Godzilla <laughs> with a lot of pleasure. Mmm, Godzilla would be, yeah, harder, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> in my drawing <laughs> but anyway or or maybe since he was in Godzilla's face uh, why didn't he just toss the bomb into his mouth and Godzilla would eat it like a like a candy <laughs> yum 
Yeah, that would have been better and more PG-13. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what else got? Well, Godzilla revives and he starts by puking to the sky. Oh, yes. You have to, we have to make a... Okay, let's kick this out. Oh, somebody's talking to me. I'm going to ignore him. It's probably my friend Alejo. Remember him? He hasn't made any new videos for this channel. Neither do I. Anyway, Godzilla wakes up and starts puking to the sky. Because he hates the sky. He's like me. I also hate the sky. <laughs> and... Yeah, and, and yeah, remember that subplot I told you about? Uh, the... The... Uh, yes. The father, the mother, Emma, and the... Uh, this is too tiny, come on. And the daughter. Uh, well, turns out the... The daughter... What's her name? Madison? Maddie? Es escapes from the fucking heavily guarded mili secret milita military base and she steals the magic music box. The... What's his name? The Orca? She steals the Orca. <laughs> and she starts playing it to in, in Boston, in, in a stadium in Boston. I'm not sure which stadium was that. I'm not sure if it's baseball, I guess. It's baseball. Boston doesn't have uh, an NFL team, I think. Anyway, she starts playing the damn Orca to lure Ghidorah and Godzilla there. And it works, you know. Because wow, she can do anything. She she's not only she's not only a little girl, a little teenage girl. She she's she's an American teenage girl. She can do every fucking thing, <laughs> even better than an adult <laughs> or a soldier. Anyway, Yudora and Godzilla come. Well, Yudora is the first one to arrive to the freaking stadium, and. Uh, because he's pissed again, because he, the orca keeps saying, uh, triggering words to him. <laughs> and uh, he trashes the stadium. He, uh, he was uh, like, how dare you use that word? That's really trigger warning. <laughs> he destroys the place. And, you know, he's attacking the girl. And the girl, instead of uh, just running away and hiding, she decides to take the freaking music box with her and try to escape <laughs> and uh yes it's about Ghidorah is about to fuck this little girl and kill her just kill her I mean I mean killing her not not actually the the, the other fuck uh uh you know Godzilla shows up and says stay away from that uh American girl and possibly autistic girl, but not really, because I don't know. You know they were hurting for g g to give a little mental challenge to this girl to make her even more more special. And this is no offense to people with mental issues, uh, not or issues that uh, mental disability. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. This is no offense to you, but yeah, you we get shoved a lot of characters like that in movies just to force people to feel sympathy for them and you know that because she's a little girl she's never ever going to fucking die kids do not die in this kind of movies ever but anyway uh godzilla saves her and she's just running and being tossed around the floor what are you doing okay um so yeah it's really they, they toss all around and then uh matra comes comes finally in the aid of Godzilla, uh, but then you know Starcream shows up and starts fucking beating the the the, the woman because you know Star Starscream is an is an asshole and hits women because <laughs> he's oh god he's so beta he's so beta anyway who's fucking talking to me uh. uh Starscream attacks uh, Mothra, pins her down, and he's about to jump on her. Arr! And Mothra is all like, Omaiwa mo shinderu. And then 
uh, <laughs> and then uh, Rodan, did they, did they, what did I call him earlier? I, don't know. I hope it's Rodan. Um, Matra says, Omae wa mo shinderu. And then Yudara uh, goes, Nani? And <laughs> and uh, Matra stings uh, uh, Rodan in the chest. And I thought he died, but you know, he starts scream, he never dies. <laughs> uh, but uh, Matra is, is badly injured. But tries to save Godzilla from Yidora, who's fucking up. Oh, yeah, and Godzilla is going like nu nuclear. <laughs> Turns out that they gave a lot of fucking power to Godzilla, and he's about to go nuclear to nuclear fission or fusion I don't know what the fuck uh, and he will make an explosion <laughs> and but anyway Ghidorah is fucking him up and Ghidorah tries to save Godzilla from Ghidorah and Ghidorah kills you know Matra uh, he burns burns her off I guess don't remember what happens to I don't care anyway uh, Matra becomes a lot of dust because you know much <laughs> and the dust falls on, on, on Godzilla and kinda heals him. Oh, it's actually blue. Kinda heals him and you know because Godzilla can't do shit by himself he needs help from the humans again and you know the family now again together the father mother and daughter uh they repair the the orca which, which was previously damaged by Ghidorah when he tossed uh Mary around <laughs> it's my freaking shitty drawings uh, they fix it to lure Ghidorah away from Godzilla how long is this oh 40 minutes already well wow. Anyway, and Ghidorah, you know, follows them and they try to get on a helicopter plane something. Well, helicopter looks like a titan as well, like a kaiju. <laughs> this is supposed to be a helicopter, those with blades and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to finish this up to wrap things up. Uh, anyway, uh, the mother, uh, Emma, Decides to not put her family in danger again. So she takes the the orca, the music box, and runs away in a in a Humvee. So Yidora pursues her. How dare you use trigger words? How dare you? That's offensive. And uh, <laughs> and you know Godzilla wakes up. He's super red now from his fishing and shit. Godzilla is fucking Ultra Instinct Godzilla. This is fucking the quick doodle of Godzilla. Rawr. He's all red. And he's, he pukes on. Oh no, he doesn't puke on, 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 on Yidora. I thought he would puke on Yidora because he's puking his, his Godzilla's attack. No, he goes fucking Thunderbolt, uh, Pokemon Thunderbolt on Ghidorah and burns, burns him off with a fucking Doomsday force field. <laughs> you know, like Doomsday in in Batman vs Superman, he burns him off with a fucking <laughs> explosion. Anyway, he fucks Ghidorah up and he hits his fucking... Oh, I need space. Let's delete all this. <laughs> yeah. Godzilla swallows Yodora like I think he, he, he swallowed him he swallowed him full. <laughs> you see yes Godzilla munching on a on, on a head of Ghidorah. <laughs> Ghidorah's gang and he fucking swallows him whole. <laughs> it's really fucking funny because you, you fucking Godzilla you're so fat like now I know why. Uh, anyway, uh, the mother possibly dies in the explosion that Godzilla makes, and 
Yeah, the mother and father, they, I mean, the father and daughter, I don't know, they survive. And then the other titans start uh, ganging up on Godzilla, who just fucked up the king. Hail to the king! Actually, they say that phrase so fucking much that I couldn't help but remember Scar from The Lion King. <laughs> oh god, yeah. That's Scar. <laughs> Hail to the king. Or maybe even uh, Ash, Ash Williams from Evil Dead. I'm not drawing him. <laughs> I don't want to insult him with my horrible art. Anyway, the other fucking titans gang up and they even fucking Rodan comes up and they all uh, they all fucking uh, bow to to Godzilla. <laughs> so fucking dumb. But anyway. Uh, it turns out that all the the titans are good. They are now healing the earth. <laughs> I'm, oh yeah, and they, they actually explain how they heal the earth. <laughs> they heal the earth, the earth through ra radiation. <laughs> Fucking radiation. They heal the earth with radiation. <laughs> they make Plants grow with radiation, like, this is fuck, fucking Hollywood physics. Like, oh my god, what, what would you come up with next, Hollywood? And anyway, they start teasing, uh, oh yeah, no, I, I want to make a hairdo to King Kong. They start teasing... Uh, on post-credit post scenes uh, that Godzilla will fight King Kong. I don't know why. I mean, Godzilla's a fucking dinosaur that 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 uh, that the that shoots fucking plasma vomit and King Kong has nipples. <laughs> King Kong just punches things or strangles them or squeezes them. What's he gonna do? Against fucking atomic bread. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was a stupid movie overall. But it was fun to watch. I mean, if you're drunk, you'll probably enjoy it. I I I kinda enjoyed it because I had to turn off my brain a bit. But the whole family shit that oh come on, fucking Americans, stop doing that. No one fucking cares about family. I just wanted to see monster f mo monsters fight. Like, really, stop doing this. Nobody fucking cares. You know that by the next movie, this family won't exist anymore. They won't show up. They will put another stupid family with stupid issues. And they're, they'll try to shove them down your fucking throat. Really, stop this fucking shit from the family. Uh, fucking American directors but anyway yeah it's a good sci-fi movie again if you turn your brain out off of it uh, and I guess that's it uh, again I really love the fights and all that and, uh, and the effects the special effects the CGI um, again I didn't like this stupid family uh, that, that come on no. I, I can only take so much stupid and that's coming from me and I'm really stupid. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you enjoy this stupid doodle review here at 610 Hobbies. My name is Gio and I thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.